This video explains how to create an extract and BI publisher report for extracting the HR data of transferred or terminated employees. Let us first open the extract that has been developed to pull the HR data. This extract is created as a full profile extract and you can see the parameters that can be used to filter out the data from this extract. Click on Switch Layout to change the view of the extract. This extract has been designed by adding most of the fields that pull HR-related information. Click on Data Group to view the user entities that have been used in this extract. We can see the user entities used and the connection between each user entity in the Connect Data Groups section by clicking on each user entity name. Click on Employee Data Group. The user entity used to create this data group, criteria and records under this data group can be seen here. Also, this user entity is defined as the root group. Click on Employee Details Record. This record is a detail record and has attributes such as person number and name. The next two records are created as hierarchy traversal records and we can see the next data group name mentioned in the next data group option which identifies which data group the application processes next. The next data group assignment is created with the history assignment user entity and has four records. Click on assignment details record to view the attributes or fields that are pulled related to an employee's assignment. Similarly, for address, organization, and payroll information, separate records are created as hierarchy traversal type. The next data group contains the record and attribute information that will be displayed in these user entities. Click on Payroll Data Group. It has one record that has an attribute which gets the payroll name information. The organization data group also has one record, and attributes have been added in them in order to get the organization-related details. The citizenship data group has record and attributes to get the citizenship details of an employee. Similarly, the address data group is created with location user entity to pull the employee's full address information. Click on the Extract Execution tree to compile and validate the extract before we run this extract to view the output data. The status should have all green ticks, and also we should get a validation message displaying the structure of the extract is valid. After successful validation, we can run the extract by using the Checklist option under Navigator. Once we have run the extract by creating a payroll flow, we can run or schedule the BI Publisher reports that we have developed using the same payroll flow name. This extract has parameters such as payroll, payroll relationship group, payroll statutory unit, and person ID. So we can run this report for a payroll or organization or even for a single employee. Click on Reports and Analytics under Navigator and click on the Open option to navigate to the BI environment. This BI Publisher report has been designed using RTF template. Click on Open to view the report's output. For larger volumes of data, we can schedule this report with a payroll flow name that we use to run the extract. And for smaller volumes of data, we can run it directly by providing payroll flow name in the flow instance name parameter. Click on the Options button in the right corner and click Edit Layout to view the RTF template designed. The RTF template pulls all columns related to an employee's personal information, citizenship details, address, employment information, payroll, and department details too. Click on Field Browser in the RTF template to view the code inside each field designed in this template. The output of this RTF template is exported in Excel format. 
as it has too many columns which will not easily be understandable if viewed as PDF RTF format. This completes a brief introduction of creating an extract with the required user entities and adding the desired fields in a BI Publisher report to view the employee's HR data.